What's up, family? I hope this video finds you in the best of health and the best of spirits. I'm here with my daughter who is off camera. She doesn't want to be seen. I don't know. She's fine. She's fine. We have burritos today, and I'm so hungry, so I'm about to tear this up. What did they give me? Jalapenos and radishes. I don't really eat those. I eat the jalapenos sometimes, but anyway. So today, I wanted to ask you guys something. I came across this story this morning. Oh, wait, let's pray, right? <laughs> Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. God bless this meal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Y'all. Oh. And I have my salsa brava. Yes. I'm a big baby. I can't eat hot stuff. And my sour cream. I don't like to to put the sour cream in the burrito because if I have to warm it later, hot sour cream is not good, okay? So that's why. Any hooser. So this morning I came across a um, article on my Facebook and the headline said, um, well, I can't, I don't remember verbatim, but pretty much, a mother is mad because a daycare worker breastfed her baby boy without permission. Okay. What do you think about that? So I want to hear from breastfeeding mothers and non-breastfeeding mothers. Like, what would you do? Yeah, this just looks hot. Well, mm -hmm. I wanna, can I try it? Yeah. I don't mind if I try it. Are you going to try it? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. It's gonna leak, I can tell. I'm gonna put it on my foil. It on, yeah. Does it smell it hot? It smells good, but yeah, that smells hot. Here. Is it a little like in there? No, no, you do it. Don't spill on the floor, I'll punch you. That's why I was saying you do it, because if you make the mess, you can only be mad at you. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Wait, careful. Sorry. A woman goes to the daycare to pick up her 15-month-old son. Upon arrival, she hears, oh, I tasted it. Does that taste funny? Mm -mm. Nah. Yeah, no, not a fan. Anyway, um, when she gets there, she hears two women conversing in the hallway to each other, and they're saying something inappropriate. So they're saying, well, they're, I've said this before, because all my kids are breastfed. So she said, he has an obsession with boobs. And then as the conversation went on, she felt like the conversation was possibly about her son. So she um, interjected and she, um, gosh, I should have wrote it down so I can say exactly what was said. Cause you guys would be so mad. Like I'm so mad. I got so mad reading this story. So as she stepped into the conversation, um, the woman says, well, I was breastfeeding my baby and he was staring. So I wanted to, so I wanted to see what he would do. So she popped his breast into the baby's mouth and he licked his lips. The lady, like she, she said, he went like, and like licked her lips or whatever, like demonstrating what the baby did. It's a baby. He's 15 months old. He's a baby baby. Okay. She said her husband was more pissed off than she was. But so she was mad, but she really didn't like make a whole stink. But so she went on to sign, sign the baby out and mentioned, well, you know, he eats food too. That was her, you know, she was mad, but she's like, well, he eats food. Like meaning, you know, you didn't have to do that. And the ladies walked away laughing at her saying, yeah, he's going to like brown women when he gets older and he's not going to know why. Because they're Caucasian. They're, the baby's white. The mother's white, you know. So making a joke. Now, I don't know if the women, I don't know. It doesn't matter what they were. I don't know if they were, you know, they mentioned he's going to like brown women when he gets older. I don't know if they were black or Latino. Doesn't matter. Bow. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. You can see. Mm -hmm. We'll clean it later. 
Is yours good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like the sauce. Sauce is not good. You know what I forgot to ask? Is, are these whole beans? Mm -hmm. I hate whole beans. I forgot about that. I forgot to tell them. I have to have refried. It's good though. Anyway, that's a good taco truck. Mm -hmm. On Harding. Harding and Pacific, Stockton, California, Harding and Pacific at the Goodyear Tire Place, El, El, Rey. El Rey Taco Truck is good. Anyway, I would be so mad if I found out that somebody tried to breastfeed my baby. Now, I know that's a thing, like more back in the day, they had a thing and they uh, called wet nurses where people would um, nurse a baby for whatever reason. I don't know. Someone else's baby, you know. Uh, cool, okay. Well, one, I mean, I don't think it's okay anyway. No one should be nursing your baby. Unless you were, like, sick or whatever. I, I mean, I guess if you're okay with it, then fine. But just to take it upon yourself to nurse somebody's baby. Oh, yeah, and then it said, well, they said they did it because, well, it's not illegal. <laughs> oh hell no mm -mm. the story had me hot you guys I want to hear from my mommies shoot I want to hear from my daddies too let me know wouldn't you be pissed off the story had me hot and it was it was just their whole attitude towards the mother like how dare you mock me how dare you laugh at me she clearly was uh, mild-tempered okay <laughs> but she came across the wrong mother mm -mm. oh my gosh I just I felt bad you know and then if she's just a baby he don't know he don't know better you know pop your funky titty in my baby's mouth I don't think so So, when my daughter was a baby, oh, who's about to be 17 now, um, her aunt, if you ever see this, I love you, but I have to talk about it, offered to nurse her, okay? I was doing something. I was busy. She was crying as usual. She was always crying. Okay. Yeah, I had to put that in there. She was always crying. <laughs> so... She was like, do you want me to nurse her? Because we had we both had newborns at the time. And um, I was like, um, no, thank you. You know, and she was like, okay. But I, she asked at least. And then one time she asked me if she could use my breast pump. I had to say no. I'm sorry. I was like, no, I'm sorry. I can't even loan that out. So, I mean, if people do it, if you do it, I'm not knocking you. Please. Please don't think I'm knocking you. I'm not. If you are okay with it, it's different. See, if you're okay with it, then okay. You know what I mean? But I am not. This mother clearly was not. She was not okay <clears throat> with somebody nursing. And it wasn't even like, you know what? Oh, I didn't think anything of it. I'm sorry. I just want to see what he would do. I apologize. Um, you know, what? none of that. They mocked her and laughed at her. Now, I wish I knew what the outcome was. Mm -mm. Dirty. Dirty. Uh, do you remember when we saw that lady breastfeeding a, a puppy? <laughs> do you remember? Mm -hmm. We didn't see her doing it in public. It was a picture. Mm -mm. It was a picture. No, I've seen a video of a lady Can breastfeeding a puppy. People donate milk all the time, and I think it's great. I think it's great. I think it's very important. If you have extra milk, if you, breast milk is gold. Have you ever nursed? You know that, honey. If you sit here for 20 minutes and pump two ounces, you're going to carry that thing like it's friggin' crystal. Okay? You are not going to want to spill it. Breast milk is gold. So, to you women that do help out babies that can't get breast milk for whatever reason, mothers that can't produce milk, whatever it is, I commend you. Hats off. I think it's a great thing. But if you're nursing somebody's baby... 
Let's see. She's unwrapping her burrito, y'all. <laughs> Me first. I'll punch you. Am I abusive? Do you tell your kids you'll punch them too? Or is it just me? I tell my siblings I'll kick them. Or, or just kick them in the forehead. You don't get to do that. Okay? I've I don't earned, get to do it, but I I've, say it. I've I'm earned my it. stripes. Okay? I can say what I want. I've earned mine too. I'm the oldest of like 20. It's your fault. It's my fault. For I'm being the oldest. oldest. Mm -hmm. This burrito is hella good. Mm. I have a question. Hmm. Hold on, I'm eating. <laughs> they can't see you. <clears throat> Ooh, that salsa went right in my throat. Do you think that an oldest female and an oldest male would be different? Like, if I were to be a boy, I help you with the kids a lot, that type of stuff. Do you think it would be any different? No. Mm, no, I mean, I think the same responsibilities would be for the boy. I, I'm not that kind of parent, mm -hmm. which is another show. But I think pretty much the same rules apply for my boy, for my girl. I'm not talking about rules. I'm just talking about, like, their role in the family, I guess. I don't know. Because I see a lot on social media talking about, like, like being the oldest and a girl, the oldest and a girl type of thing. And I don't know. What are they saying about it? Like how there's more pressure because they're a girl and they're the oldest. They had to set the example for the younger siblings and how, or how they watched their younger siblings that are boys not have to do everything like chores, watching kids, wow. that type of stuff. No. But Keandre, well, I have to say this too. It depends a lot on you guys is um mentality you know how you think how you are so you know i don't know i i mean he would have responsibilities too he would have to you know if i needed him to he would babysit or whatever like that but also see what people always say uh, with kids it's oh at this age they can do this at this age they can do this you know but yeah. not everyone's mentality is the same at this age you keandre may not be think like you or be as responsible i'm not saying he isn't or won't be but i'm just saying he may not be as responsible as you are at 16 he may not you know it may be you know so it's just it's based on all those things mm-hmm like right. right now, huh? Sorry, go ahead. No, no, real quick. Like right now, and he's got all this kind of social media, right? He's got like everything, TikTok, Instagram, um, what else? Everything, okay? He's got everything. He would not have all that stuff if it was up to me. Here, he don't have that stuff. But see, his dad let him, excuse me, so over there he lets him. And it would be different if he supervised him and knew, you know, was in his business, as he should be because... Keanu's only 12, but he's not. So that wouldn't be allowed over here. So there's that. Mm -hmm. What? No, I wanted to say, I'm going to be honest about something. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but I think, like, I've always been scared of getting in trouble. That's the only, I've never been the type to get into trouble or be rebellious. I've never rebelled. I have an attitude sometimes. I got an attitude problem. But I've, I'm just so, it's only because I'm so scared of getting in trouble. That's the only reason. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. She is. She always has been. Um, well, I think, well, see, here's the thing with me, too. As a kid, you know, you do things as a kid. Your mind is different when you're a kid. I've done things as a child I would never do as an adult. Or not as, an, I mean, as a child, just as a younger person, you know. Um, that I would never do now that I'm completely embarrassed of and went, Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Some stuff I'm not proud of would never ever do as an adult, you know? Um, but I did think when I was young, I, I always thought of consequences. Okay. If I do this, this is going to happen. That's just always kind of how my mind worked. And I think that's what kept me cause I have a bad, bad temper. 
I have a super bad anger problem. And um, That's why I can't drive, because I got your temper. <laughs> you can drive. I'm going to round people. <laughs> no, you won't. You'll feel like it, but you won't. Um, or was I? I think that's what kept me out of jail, to be honest. I think that's what kept me from any big trouble was going, you know what? I value my freedom. And now, especially ever since I became a mother, I cannot imagine being away from the kids or the kids have not having me, you know? So there's that. <laughs> Mine's pretty good. I don't mind. I, I always say no beans if they don't have refried, but it's still good. I didn't think about it. Mm -mm. I haven't even tasted any whole beans yet, have you? Maybe they forgot my beans. So, mommies, daddies, what do you think of this breastfed without permission stuff? Mm -mm. Oh, how about this one? How do you feel? And this is kind of an old article. This woman was breastfeeding her nine-year-old. Oh. Daughter. Nine. Yeah. Now, people talk crap about breastfeeding, period. Breastfeeding is a whole... I don't know. People have a problem with it. You know, they sexualize it, which is absolutely mm -hmm. ridiculous. I breastfed my babies for a long time. Even my sister used to tell me, um, Auntie Vita used to tell me when I would nurse you, like, um, she's getting too big now. You should probably stop now. If she can ask for it, you should stop nursing. That's like what she, one, would, one and a half. she would tell me that. So Kiana was 13 months, 14 months. Why are you asking me? No, I'm like, like I'm, I'm thinking myself. Ass face. Excuse my language. Um, See what you did? See what you did to your pants? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot sauce. Thir uh, she was 13 months. Keandre was 19 months old because he just Dude. is a boy and he couldn't get off of it. Okay, It was really hard to wean him. Um, and then Kane, unfortunately, was only six months old, six or seven months. And I felt so bad about that, that I only nursed for that long. But, um, it was really hard. I worked, um, I commuted over an hour to and from work at that time. And I was a loss prevention officer. And it was hard to, like, they would let me pump in the office and stuff. But it was really difficult to, even though that's the law and they, they, they let me. It was really hard to do. So, um, I started giving him formula, my poor baby. So, anyway, and then Chanel. Gosh, she was, she was about as old as Keandre too, huh? She was about 19 months old too. 18 months, 18 months, 19 months. She would not get off. She would not get up. So I believe in breastfeeding. I think it's great. Breastfeed for as long as you can. But I do think that there's a limit. Okay? There's a come on. Nine. Nine years old. Oh my gosh. Be stained? Yeah, it'll stain. No. Go take them off now. Why? If you wash it now and it'll come out. If you wash it now, it'll come out. So what do you think about that? I want to hear your comments and feedback on that. You Excuse know me. what I think is a problem? What? When they have so much tortilla at the ends. Here, dork. This is a heck of good, y'all. Whoops, this way. Mm. Carne asada, rice and beans, onions and cilantro. And then I put my own sour cream and salsa on it. Yeah, I see the whole beans now, dude. I think they're good. They're like, I cool. can't really taste them at all, actually. They're cool. I just prefer refried unless they're my whole beans. Huh? So, breastfeeding, people have a problem with it. Um, what were your experiences nursing? Did you have people telling you, um, cover up, you need to cover up, and blah, blah, blah. So... 
there are a lot of laws and things protecting breastfeeding mothers and I'm glad um, if you have a problem with a mother, like people say stuff like, oh, cover up. We don't want to see that. Cover your own damn face. No one wants to see you eating. And I, we think you're disgusting. But do we go throw a blanket over your head? Okay. Um, you know, it, people sexualize breasts so much. When there's a baby attached to it, that should even go through your mind. So it's not the mother, the breastfeeding mother that's disgusting. It's your mind that's disgusting. If you are uh, connecting the two, there's something wrong with you. Okay? Not the baby getting nutrition. <laughs> Relax. But so what, so what have been your experiences with that? See, I'm saying you, as a breastfeeding mother, you don't have to cover up if you don't want to. You just don't. Like, you do not have to cover up if you don't want to. Personally, I covered up, but that's just me. Okay? That's just me. I chose to. But if someone chooses not to, it's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with, with it. Okay? Baby's eating. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. People do too much. I really, I encourage breastfeeding. I really do. I think it's the best for the baby. Of course, you can use formula. And in my experience, I, like I said, I always encourage people to breastfeed. There's been a lot of moms in my life, new moms in my life, and people that have asked me and stuff. And I always say, you know, they, they can't get past a certain part. I always say, oh, it's hard. It hurts. It's you know, it's too difficult. And once you pass that little threshold, once you pass that, you're okay. Yes, it's uncomfortable at first, you know. Um, but just remember what your baby's brain and body is getting from your breast milk, you know. That's important. So stick it out. Yeah, it hurts at first. Yeah, it's uncomfortable or whatever. It was for me each time, too. It wasn't just, like, new. It wasn't just the first time. It was... Every time I started nursing again, it was uncomfortable. And then when they get teeth, that's always fun. Oh my gosh, that would hurt so bad. And Kane too. Kane used to bite me hella bad. <clears throat> You're very little man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so full. Are you? Yeah. I'm not. I'm over here talking and I still have hella burrito left. No, I was done with half of mine before you even started talking. <laughs> you just look like your dad when you made that face. What face? I don't know. That The face you just did. You did a face and you looked just like Rob. He says that about you. Like, we'll be eating dinner and he'll be like, you look just like your mom. Like, she doesn't look like me. She looks like her dad. I don't think so either. He goes like some of the faces I make mm -hmm. and the things I say. Really? I guess, yeah. You're like, well, that is my mother. You know. Also with my face because it like, it gets itchy. <laughs> he said you used to do that. Do what? Like pick, I guess, or scratch. Pick my face? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I want to hear from you, mommies, daddies, breastfeeding mommies, non-breastfeeding mommies. What would you do if somebody breastfed your baby without your permission? Would it not be that big of a deal? You don't see a problem with it? You think it's not harmful? Or would you be fighting? I think I would be fighting. That's very disrespectful. 
to do anything with anyone's it, look even if i want to give a kid candy my little cousin or my i don't know whoever my friend's baby whoever and i have candy i want to give them something i ask their mother on the low i got be like hey can they have you know you kind of have respect for people i think common respect that's what i think it is and if i would do that like if i wouldn't even give someone baby candy without their permission i'm definitely not gonna put my boob in their mouth without permission that's for damn sure okay so i want to hear from you thank you for watching i am gonna stuff the rest of this in my face have a good day be a blessing to somebody and i love you guys bye